So I said I was gonna do a Q&A, but I'm really awkward to just sit here and answer questions. I needed to do more, so I'm doing a get ready with me while I answer the questions that I said I was gonna do for a Q&A. Okay, my boyfriend is home. He's playing music, so whatever. I'm gonna start by putting my hair back with the hair tie that I don't have. Hold on. Got a hair tie. First question I'm answering while getting ready. Let me start by putting on moisturizer so I can think. Black Tea Eye Concentrate H Delay by Fresh. And I'm gonna answer the first question. Jade Starstruck by You says, what show are you obsessed with at the moment? I'm currently watching Mad Men on Netflix and it's, I guess I could say I'm obsessed with it. Uh, it's great. Leah Ultra Bloom Boulevard <laughs> says, you got games on your phone? And yes, Leah, I do. I still play Candy Crush on planes. It's really fun, but I'm on a level that I cannot beat right now. It's really frustrating and I've deleted it off my phone twice because I just can't even look at the app because I know I'm not gonna beat it anytime soon. Maisie Osis. I don't know if I'm saying that right now, I'm really sorry. Says, will you ever do an event or a wildflower pop-up in the UK? And yes, we will. We're actually, it's in our, sorry you guys, I'm really trying right now. We are planning on doing it. Am I supposed to be telling you what I'm doing? Putting on my favorite ginseng moisturizer. We are planning on doing one, hopefully this year. It was in our, like every, we always have an end of the year meeting for Wildflower and we're talking about doing a pop-up in the UK. At Lexi GVNN says, who is your male and female style icons? I don't know. My boyfriend? He's my inspo, for sure. Female style, um, I really love 90 supermodels. I know I say that all the time. Miley Cyrus's style, I think is so sick. She's so herself and that's what I think is the coolest is when you can like just be yourself. I really like the way like they style the mean girls in movies, like the popular girls in like early 2000s, late 90s movies. Um, I think those are really cute. That's who I like, I don't know. There's, I just appreciate everyone's style, I think. I love seeing how people style stuff. People are cute. Humans are cute, sometimes. Haley at P-Y-E-L-A, H says, favorite case you guys have ever made. I'm gonna answer that while I put on my sunscreen. This is the perfect day, two in one, everywhere lotion, and it's really cool. You can like, there's lipstick right here, and then I always put like that much. So Haley, my favorite case, I don't know, it's really hard. I'm obsessed with this one. I also really like the Angel and Devil mud flap one. I like all the checkers. I think those are really cute. The rosy case that's like the rose on lavender to baby pink gradient is really cute. Oh, the unicorn, duh. I like Jesse's license plate case. Tana's checkers with the flames. But yeah, does that answer your question, Haley? I <laughs> hope. Dumbass Katrina. That's funny. Says, fave makeup products right now. Well, that's actually great since I'm doing a get ready with me. Let's see, I just got this for Christmas, the Fenty Beauty Lips Gloss. I really like it. I know it's kind of expensive and my favorite is the Buxom Lip Gloss in the color Dolly. This Stilla Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow in the color Diamond Dust. I wear like four times a week, it's my fave. I really like the Glossier Gloss, clear gloss, but I always will put this MAC. It's like a sparkly red and I just like dab it on. I'll do it later. I'll show you guys later. Roberta at Neighbor Single says, what's your favorite place, country, city? I really love Amsterdam. I think the day we, I went there, I was only there for like, I think like 26 hours we were there. But it was such a beautiful day, it was so sunny. And it was so nice and everyone there was so beautiful and like kind and 
the food was good and it was just like an amazing day and i had never been to um, netherlands before so obviously it was it was just magical love amsterdam taryn at you get me so you. high girl can't you tell i got all this nose on me so i can't you tell. says any fashion mistakes you've made in the past Yes, I think I'm still making them to this day. I'm sure I'm gonna look back on what I'm wearing right now and say, why was I wearing that? One that I can think of right now, when I was probably 18, I bought a pair of tan sneaker wedges from Skechers and I just can't even believe that I did that. So I wore them like a few times too. Like I was like really trying. I don't know. I hate that I did that. Christina at Trillion Girl says favorite movie. My favorite movie is tie between Wolf of Wall Street and the Lizzie McGuire movie, to be honest. Jolly Carla at Strip That Angel says, have you ever had creatives block writer's block when making cases? Yeah, all the time. I hate that. They just have their boyfriend he comes through with the fucking collect idea. Yeah? Is that what happens? <laughs> Honestly, sometimes <laughs> he helps. It's a different perspective talking to your friends seeing what they're into going Shopping at a store you don't normally shop at Seeing what people are wearing. I don't know putting yourself in a different environment usually helps me But yes, I do get up all the time. It's very stressful at train wreck Dua Says are you ever gonna visit? Australia. Yes, beach. Yeah, I'm gonna come to Australia for sure. Deb at Talon of the Deb asks, is there a movie or TV show that ever influenced your style? Probably like, what did I watch growing up? I watched a lot of The Simple Life at way too young of an age and I really think that's what I started like, well, when I started getting into fashion and stuff, that's when I was obsessed with them and was very influenced by Hannah Montana and <laughs> The Simple Life. I loved The Parent Trap. Like I loved the way Lindsay Lohan dressed. Both of the twins. I don't know, it's stupid. Who was your childhood idol? Says, at Sweet Girl, L Sweet. Am I saying that right? Um, probably Miley Cyrus. I was so obsessed with her. At Capped Flower Crown, Sydney Pugmire says, are you a coffee or tea person? Whichever you prefer, what's your fave type of that drink? A little bit of both. I love coffee in the morning and tea throughout the day. I love just a hot cup of joe or an iced oat milk latte if I'm like out and about. Sam Xtina. Samantha asks, will y'all ever do a New York City pop-up and waiting too long to meet the Carlsons? Yes, we are. It'll probably be like whenever New York Beauty Con is because my whole family will be out there. And yeah, we're definitely gonna do it. At Avery Biterwolf, Beaterwolf. I feel like a substitute teacher that like has to go down the name and call attendance and just butchers everyone's name and they all are embarrassed. Okay, give me the hot sub. <laughs> and I'm talking subway, baby. Actually, I guess I'm not talking quiz in us. Ew. I feel like they were the originator of the toasted sub, right? I was, yeah, 1000%. I was definitely a Quiznos gal. Wow, that's so much about you. Really? Well, I liked Quiznos more, but I loved Jamba Juice the most, and Subway was right next to Jamba Juice. And that was the combo. So I would always end up having to get Subway, but I preferred Quiznos. Can I ask you a question? Were you Quiznos or Subway? Um, I've had Subway more in my life. Once I discovered Quiznos, I was I can't answer the question. Subway, Subway. You like Subway more? When it comes down to it, I've had more... Yeah, but what do I you don't like? Want, I don't want either at this point in my life. It, if it was McDonald's or Subway, I'd pick Subway. See, at this point, I don't know if I would. I think I'd do McDonald's. Because, like, McDonald's breakfast? Come on. Like, if I'm gonna, like... Yeah, but what if you don't feel way, like breakfast? Food? Subway has I mean, flatbread I, I, that's I actually that pretty okay. Has what? This flatbread that's, like, pretty... Not yeah, that. 
fucking Subway spicy tamale and Italian BMT. That's what you get? The crazy stuff. That's what you get? Back to the Twitter question. Avery asks, favorite workouts? I go to hot yoga, which I actually like, but it just takes a lot for me to like get there. Or hot Pilates. <laughs> Alexa, eight days a week, asks, what's your favorite bagel combination? I have quite a few. I love sesame bagels with cream cheese and avocado, blueberry bagels with cream cheese, or an egg bagel with cream cheese and strawberry jelly is like what I grew up on. My mom made that for me all the time. Dalla Mills, that's a really good username, asks, what would be your dream modeling gig? I really wanna shoot like a beauty campaign next year. Well, this year, or next year at some point in my life. I don't know. I'd love to work with Louis Vuitton or Chanel, obviously. Those are my favorite. Really want to shoot a beauty campaign for Marc Jacobs. I think their art direction and everything is great. Alina at F-U-A-N-T-Q-S asks, fave makeup brands. Probably, I really like milk makeup. At uh, Erin Jane Snyder asks if you had to move out of California, where would you move to? Definitely New York. I feel like I'm gonna move there anyway at some point in my life, so probably New York. At Neighbor H Zico asks, when are you coming to Brazil? March. I'm going to Brazil with my best friend Lauren to go visit our boyfriends. In March, we are going to Brazil. I'm just as excited as you are. At Taurus Shivani, Shivani says, what inspired you to start Wildflower Cases? Well, Wildflower started honestly completely by accident. It's not just me, it's my sister, Sydney Carlson, my mom, Michelle, and my dad, Dave. Wildflower happened 100% on accident. We were not planning on starting a company or anything. My mom was just making my sister and I and our friends like phone cases. And then one day we were at a restaurant and I ended up meeting Miley Cyrus randomly. I was like, I know it's super annoying, but do you mind if we take a picture together? I'm literally like <laughs> obsessed with you. And so we took a picture together and she noticed my phone case and was like, oh, where'd you get your phone case? And I was like, my mom made it for me. She said, oh, what's her company? And I was like, we don't have a company. She was like, is your mom here? And I was like, yes. So we walked back to the table and my mom was like, what the hell? And then she was like, you guys have to start a company. And she called her friends over. We gave her a bunch of the cases that my mom had had and she ended up tweeting a picture of it and tagged me in her tweet. And my dad is a graphic designer and his entire background is in like launching products to market. So anyways, Miley tweeted a picture of it. Everyone started replying to the tweet saying, how do I get this phone case? We stayed up all night, made a website, started replying to people on Twitter with wildflowercases.com. We were getting orders and we had no inventory. We had nothing. It was literally just me and my mom and my dad and my sister. My mom still had a job, my dad still had a job, and I still had a job, and we were all trying to run Wildflower. Like, uh, overnight it just happened, and like within a month we were in Seventeen Magazine. Like, a bunch of people got our phone cases, we didn't even know how they got them, and people were buying them, and it was just crazy, and then like, Fred Siegel wanted to carry us, like, two months in, we didn't even have retail packaging, we didn't even have enough, like, cases to fulfill their order, and it was crazy, but... Yeah, now we're here and I'm very grateful and I love Miley Cyrus. I don't know, that's why I'm always like, everything happens for a reason. If I wasn't at that restaurant at that time, like timing was everything. The universe wanted it to happen, it worked out, it was crazy. Never say never, Justin Bieber. But I don't know, I just feel like I was a senior in high school trying to figure out what I want to do with my life. I'm just very grateful and I think that you should never give up and just be a good person and good things will happen. That kind of segues into this question by Kat Neal. She asked best advice for a 20 something gal and I think it's just to live and be a good person and hope for the best and whatever. Like everything happens for a reason and you just gotta take opportunities and just try to be positive and have a really good outlook on everything because it's all gonna work out and you're gonna be okay and everything's gonna be great in the end, so don't get too stressed. The last question is the only question anyone has for you, Missy, is what breed is Martin and why doesn't he have an Instagram? Martin's too cool for Instagram, A. B, he, we don't know what he is. <laughs> they told me he's a Shih Tzu Chihuahua Pomeranian and I know he's not but I think he's like a Dachshund, Chihuahua, Jack Russell Terrier. I don't know, he's perfect though. 
Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Um, I'm really annoying and I hope you like this video. I hope you subscribe and have an amazing 2018 and I love you all so much and thank you for supporting me and my family and everyone I love and I love you and bleh, bye. And just drop down and get your eagle on Or we can stay up at the stars and put the beaters on All the shit you talking about is not up for discussion I will pay to make it bigger, I don't pay for no reduction